but the thing is, I was pretty confident with this little fake pee. Where I probably fucked up with trying to fill up the rest of the cup, even though it wasn't much. I probably could have just turned into fake piss and been alright. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs>
your drug of choice to with me what it was was like okay cool like we stay in your system i quit we whenever i came into this truck and shit i was like man i'm done put that shit down but then something in my head told me like like you know if i party I, I was drinking it usually leaves from like okay i'm drinking and boom I, I know if i can get this out and i can sit out for a few days i should be all right and it's that will fuck me up because i was being I, I told me i was taking for granted every time i do it i'd be like man you really need to chill the fuck out but I'm thinking, like, I got usually that shit in and out of you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, I, I thought I was being smart. So that's on me, and I'm taking full accountability, you know? Like, ain't no, ain't no, I was kind of pissed at my, you know, more so disappointed in myself, anything. Like, I know I fucked up. But, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to move on from it. I really thought it was over with. You know, sometimes, sometimes I've been on Reddit, everything, and I don't think that helps. Going to look up a million things, it's almost like looking up, a, like, a, Let's say you're feeling sick and you try to look up symptoms on Google. That should put you in even a worse, you know what I'm saying? Put you in a in a different, yeah, it could, it could be bad. But right now I'm just. Yeah, it puts you in a different, yeah. in a different space. Yeah. And I, I, and I would say, bro, you fucked up your career and stuff like that. But once you get into the SAP program and, and you clear the requirements of step one through four, five i believe i think step six is where you're going to come into come into the problems but you also going to face adversity too because when you tell the prospective company what you got popped for they're going to be like uh well that that's even that that's even worse over you know what i'm saying if you would just go be like yeah. well i i got popped for weed and they could probably be like oh okay well we can we can work for that but being that you got popped for the hard stuff is it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But yeah. I have heard, and I, I I can't say this is true or not, but in the Facebook groups that I follow, I, I can't say if 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 what this is is true or if it's valid or if it's just or if it's just scammy. Or there's some places in the group that you can call and they can help you with the step six now i also heard that from other drivers is that you could get step six done on your own as well you don't need a trucking yeah, company so, so that's yeah that's what i'm hearing i don't I, I i'm trying to figure are you okay so i'm looking on youtube i just watched our video i'm watching the one with the mcgee or something i don't know i, I was watching his video you got like 50k subscribers so I, I saw you guys are having like Report y'all talking so i'm trying to figure out who this is at first so is it are you the mcgee guy the one who has the website no i'm i'm lockout no i'm i'm lockout man i'm the interviewer okay now, now yeah, McGee, no, my no, guy, like, said, yeah my guy he's oh, yeah. he has a website and but i looked up the websites dog and one now i ain't seen nothing well it keeps going like it this i'm not the sure website's not. i'm i'm not sure he the last time i talked with him he's still trying to tweak the website and trying to keep it up to date he's a one-man band that's oh, that's trying to do it yeah. all he works they're trying to yeah that's yeah. dope that there's actually people out there like there's hope that's all i'm I, all i feel like is there is hope because like i'm like i told you i, I was driving ready mix trucks right and uh that's some. That's some. It ain't like eighteen wheelers. Like y'all just back in hopping. Like I was out there waking up at one a.m. one day, pretty much Monday through Saturday, random calls. And I prefer those jobs, even though, like you know, I got a CDL. Everybody wants to get their CDL so they could just drive. But I like being home. I like to work out. I like to do certain things. So it's like that fit my life more better. Just like this sunbike company. Like oh, I shouldn't have named the company, but uh, but the company I just recently got let go of. But uh. Yeah, like it, it, I liked it because it would be 12, 12 hour shifts Monday through Friday. You know what I'm saying? Even though it wasn't crazy pay, it'd be pretty much. I got a buddy that I told to get this CD. He went and got his, and he over the road and he telling me his checks. I'm like, mine's is the same, if not more. And I'm home every day. So, like, I liked it for me. It worked. And that's my thing. I'm still hoping maybe. So, yeah. so ready mix. That's, that's the, that's the cement truck, right? Yeah, that that spinning spinning one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you so you worked in construction. I mean, yeah, if you consider that construction, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You no, know, yeah. So yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of curious. I know you left them to go with this new company, and that's when you got popped with got the new popped. company. 
But yeah. can you go back? Even then, uh, I don't. I don't think I want to go back. Honestly, like it wasn't even that I want to go back. It, it's just the uncertainty. Like, like I had no life. And let's say I work. Okay, so like, let's say for instance, like one time they called us in on a middle of uh, on a Sunday, told us to come in at like eleven okay. p.m. And you don't know how long your days are. You don't. You don't know what time you're gonna get off. You might come in at 11, you get off at 6, but then you might have to turn around, come back at 11 again. Or the next morning, you don't know what time you come in the next day. You don't, you cannot, like, like, you can't, you can't, you can't schedule nothing. But at least at this place where it was a set time, we came in at 5 and whenever our loads were done. So pretty much since we took it to the, like, let's say, for instance, we, we recycled at our place, but we took stuff to the landfill. So at least I knew around 4.35. That's around the time we're going to end it, maybe a little hour more. But at least, you know, I can live a normal life. I got my weekend weekends off. And if I did, did decide to go on a Saturday, I work like five hours and then I get a $100 bonus. So even though I would have made pretty much the same money. So it wasn't bad. And I'm hoping, I feel like my thing is, I feel like company cut. Because like I said, he told us, the guy told me how he had a guy that worked for them that was on the program. So I'm hoping if I get all my, you know, stuff situated, I could go back, you know. Well, I, so that's kinda- I I hope everything works out for you, man. Uh, your drug of choice was the coke. How how long ago prior to the drug test that you indulged in it? Like a, a few days before. Oh. Thinking, but the thing is, I was pretty confident with the little fake pee. Where I probably fucked up with trying to fill up the rest of the cup, even though it wasn't much, I probably could have just turned into fake piss and been all right. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's where I, yeah, that's where it hurts. But I mean, it is what it is. I can't, the more that I think about it, it don't drive me nuts anyway. So. When this episode goes up, you're going to probably get some flack in the comment session. So, what would you say your takeaway? from all of this as far as you yeah, trying to nah. go go forth in the future hold on what's going on guys i just want to stop the video right here right quick if you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing go ahead and hit that like button for me bro hit that like button it's free it's free if you made it this far into the video man make sure you hit that like button it's right up under the video man and if you guys like more content like this consider okay y'all got two options well one but two options you can either subscribe for the channel for more and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show well as far as flag i mean i don't know i'm just kind of just you know i feel like i needed some like when i'm going through this what i'm going through right now i just want to you know i know i fucked up I took full, I'm taking full account of, full accountability for what I did, you know. But it was kind of a weird time, too, for instance. Like, I'm not trying to use it as a... Excuse, uh, as I got an excuse. you. Yeah, it's just like, it's just getting hard. When I left there, like, when I left that company, I was in a weird spot. I was moving, even though I had got this new job. I was just in a very state of just, like, I would almost say, like, depression. Like, I was not, I'm like, damn, I changed my life when I got my CDL. This company's tripping on me, whatever. It ended up weird. You know what I'm saying? I pretty much, they didn't want me there from the beginning. The main manager with the district, because we had a the manager who ran the plants, and then we had a manager that ran, oversaw, like, the area. He didn't want no new drivers. He was trying to find a way to get rid of them. He would even get the safety guy to do just random drug tests, but he would only pick the newer guy because he wanted to bring in a bunch of experienced drivers. So he had it out for me from the beginning. He had it out for all the new guys beginning it was a lot of politics and the old like for instance like what what happened to me is i scratched like a little truck on the way backing up i barely scratched it boom the truck wasn't even supposed to be at that location the guy moved it whatever i took my test and i and i was passing all the randoms that i I was getting but it was just after that i'm like damn like why did he have it really out you know it was just a bunch the plant manager really liked me he tried to keep me around and it was just like the region manager did not want these new drivers he wanted to get rid of them and try to bring in 
a bunch of more experienced drivers where the plant manager really liked the newer drivers because he felt like he could teach them the right way, their way. And it was just, you know, like, it's like, damn, why did this brother not want to see me succeed? The plant manager would go out his way to make sure, you know, try to help us versus this guy. Like, he really didn't want us around from the beginning. I'm like, why would you even put us in this position? Because he wasn't in charge of the hiring. He just oversaw the operations or whatever. But it was just like, I mean, I get it. If I get flack, it is what it is. There's probably somebody out there that tested for coke. Like, it wasn't weed, you know what I'm saying? So for those people, I'm just, I'm just you know, want to be example or what not to do or, you know, let them know they might be hope out there. There might be hope out there because, like, after I've been going through this, I've reached out to this girl that's on TikTok, and she kind of helps people with this whole sad thing. She told me, like, she did, she, she kind of, she's a recruiter, and she's on TikTok. You can go text her, and she kind of advises you on what to do, what not to do, or, like, who to go to, who not to go to. I've heard it. I don't know if y'all have heard of on-time screening. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, I think that's one of the one of the places that's in the Facebook groups that a lot of drivers is talking about that they go to. So yeah, again, and like I said, I, I don't know the validity of it. I can't tell if it's scam because there's a lot of people that like to take advantage of you guys. That's where I feel the most problematic issues is going to come into play because the only people that's going to help you are the same people that's going to take advantage of you because they know that you're yeah. in that situation and they know that they can use that. Yeah. Instead of giving you 60 cent a mile, we can give you 35 cent a mile because you're in the you're a sap driver. You you don't want to drive all your hours out, but you're going to have to drive all your hours out because you're a sap driver. Just because you're a sap yeah. driver is giving them more of more of an advantage over you because of your situation. And I, and that's a lot of issues that you guys are running into. They already know that these mega carriers ain't going to mess with you. They know that. Maybe a mom yeah. and pop would, but they, yeah. they know for a fact that the majors, Swift, Knight, all of them, you know what I'm saying? The, one, the ones with the big names out here on the road, they know that they're not going to mess with you. So you, you go to Indeed and you see some fly by night company that says, yeah, come on in. We're, we're sap friendly. But then when you get on with them, they treat you like shit. Yeah. I mean, I haven't, I haven't even came across that yet. Cause I just, you know, I just got in here, but I'm, that's what a, a, a lot of the videos I'm watching. That's a lot of what I'm seeing. And I can see why, but at the end of the day, if, I, if for instance, like yesterday, I was in the gym and uh, I saw this dude with we one of my buddies. He had a motorcycle. We are kind of fucking with it. He was teaching me how to ride it. And I had, so he had a, a dually, a hot company and uh, he under a contract. So I'm hoping, I told him my situation. He's a little small, op, you know, owner operated hot shot company. So I'm hoping maybe, you know, get in with that. So I'm trying to figure out a way where I can eventually be my own. So even if I do go through some shit like this, then maybe it's a little easier if I own my own deal. I, I know a lot of you guys think that would be the way to go. That try to get your own truck and try to get it through. Trucking is expensive. And you being a, a young owner operator trying to get your foot in the door. A lot of these brokers, same thing. A lot of these brokers, they're going to try They're going to try and play with you. They're going to try and take advantage of you, and some of them won't even mess with you. So you'll be in that you, you'll be in that crutch of what drivers is saying, hey, don't take cheap freight. Don't take cheap freight. But you being the new owner-operator, you have no choice but to take the cheap freight because that's all that they're offering you because of your situation. So it's a catch yeah. twenty two for all of it, though, man. Yeah. So I got a question. Have you heard of like a? I've heard of that trucker B dude. I don't know. It's a white boy, kind of red, like reddish. He does a lot of work with Charles. He's a SAP counselor. I mean, it seems like he's doing well. It seems like there's people out there still out here doing well, though. That's another thing that I've seen. It's a select few of them, but it's a lot of them that's doing all right. The ones that probably got a bunch of year under their belt are probably the ones that ain't really having too much trouble with it. You know? Well, I, I'm i not familiar with that with with the guy. I probably might now. I probably might have to go and look for him and see what he's about. But, uh, but no, I, I haven't seen or hear anything about him, but... There are some some success stories from SAP drivers that are out here 
you can definitely look up and you know, go into some of the Facebook groups. I would suggest like some of them, but not all of them, because majority of them are drivers like yourself that's coming in asking for help, looking for advice and you know, to see which route to take and all like that versus the people that already went through the program to come in and share their stories of success. So I will route you that way. I appreciate you finding my channel and taking the time to share your story with me. I kind of hate the fact that if it was the weed, I would probably be more conducive. The hard stuff is kind of is kind of hard. Yeah, to... and I think I think what I realized is that the, the drug plays a role on how long it is too. Because I think uh, I've heard wait, one. I, I don't know one SAP counselor that I hit up yesterday. He told me it was a year. The one that I'm trying to do right now, they talking about 18 months. So I don't know if that makes a deal. I don't know how long the difference is, but I've been told a year. I've been told since it was what it was, it was 18 months. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but one of them told me that. It, one of them told me exactly. The, the lady that I talked to, she told me it's 18 months. And it's gonna be nine tests. She told me everything where the other person wasn't gonna tell me how much, and he was like. uh one of the South counselors is more hard. And I kind of mentioned the other South counselor that I was also shopping around. He kind of got upset. So I don't know, bro. There's a lot going on, bro. I don't know which person to pick, but I feel like the one with on-time screening, the fact that I could do it on my own makes it easier for me to go to a company like the one I was just at and be like, hey, man, look, uh, I'm on six. Let me take my return to duty. All the drug tests that I got, I can cover. You know what I'm saying? It makes it easier for a company to deal with me versus one where I'm just like, hey, uh, you go to a company and they got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? That's what one counselor was. I'm watching a video of this dude. He telling me, uh, I'm watching this dude. He just kind of rants on YouTube, but I mean, it was helpful information. He was just pretty much saying like, hey, he went with on-time screening because he can pick his test. You know what I'm saying? Or Whenever we're well, not necessarily to pick his test, but he can get his test out the way versus where the place he had to go wait on. He had to put his whole he had to rely on the company to do that. And these companies didn't know what the fuck they were doing, but they took on his app driver. You know what I'm saying? So this is making it hard for both parties, really. Well, again, bro, I hope everything works out for you in the future. Now, I understand your situation. I'm not going to try and say, well, you shouldn't have did this and you shouldn't have did that because I don't know your situation and why you did what you did. Like I said, life be life and people do different things to cope with it. So hopefully, hopefully you're able to uh, find something else in the meantime, which have you have you we'll see if you can find something else in the meantime. Uh, as far as work wise. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right now, I actually I actually went up to a union today to get into looking into some electrician work. So I might do that for a while or maybe just get like a little Amazon. We got an Amazon out here. I might just work up there till I get all this situated. So, yeah, I mean, I put up a little good amount of money, but now I'm just starting to become to the point where I'm tapping too much into it. So, yeah, I do definitely need some income coming in. I got to. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nah, man, this is crazy. Yeah, this is crazy, but I appreciate it, man. Hey, uh, no doubt, man. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Stay up. Stay focused. Stay yeah. clean. Yeah, that's for sure. Stay clean. And uh, and again, I'm glad that you came on to share your your experience, your 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 story with us. And maybe somebody in in your situation can, can take away from all of this. But yeah, man. Let let me know what's what's going on. Like when you get into the SAP program, maybe you can come back and and tell us how the SAP program goes. Cause that's another that's another outlet right there. A lot of people don't don't say how it actually went, like like from the first, uh, like follow the, back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the first to you know, to the last, how much and all the time that I you. I mean, I kind of can. Give, uh, uh, I can kind of give them what I know right now from just just like what I've looked at from just talking to those two counselors. I know that there are people that can. I, I know for a fact that like the last the, I talked to her this morning actually, just the one with on time screening. She can get you to return to duty within a few days. As far as your evaluation, there's a class you got to take. And then the follow up, then that return to duty test, she can get that all done within a few days. It's a little bit more than what the other guy was offering. It's like six hundred dollars. But after that, she can 
she can uh since she has a company or or she knows a company that's a registered deal has a dot number and is official company they can give you those follow-up i think that's a little extra to get those follow-up tests but i know for a fact with on-time screening she can get you up to return to duty within days so there is hope that's what i need to see. there's hope out there so that's what it kind of be a little bit you know ease knowing that I can get to return to duty because you know that law that's passed in November, yeah, I want to say 18. Yeah, or, yeah, 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 most definitely. Yeah. Time running out. Yeah, so I'm going to probably out. do that tomorrow. Yeah, that's the first thing I'm going to do in the morning tomorrow, get that situated, and then probably if I can get all that situated. Is all of this, what? Say that? what's the name of the company again? What's what's the name of the lady? On time what? On time. On time screening. On time screening. She has, okay, you so, can search up on Google. You can go find her, log in, you can give her a call. So all is all is all of this virtual? Everything is like email or Yeah, yeah. Or is everything I mean, you would you call, be able to give go to the office or something like that? Or is this like Zoom I mean, calls I, and stuff like that? She told me with me living, she's based out of Atlanta, Georgia, I think. I live in Texas. Okay. So I think with her is yeah, you could do yeah, it all. Do a Zoom. I called her today. Yeah. Yeah, I called her. She, you sign up, you pay for it. Once you pay for it, it's kind of when she starts fucking with you. So, boom, I'm going to do that in the morning. Just get this ball rolling. I ain't trying to let this stop me. Well, it might just, be a little bump on her. Well, just yeah. what I want you to do, man, is just make sure that she's legit, man, because there's there's a lot that's, of guys out here word. that's trying to, like I said, trying to take advantage of you. And as long as she's legit, then yeah, mess with her. But you know, just make sure you I'm do your due to diligence. Out how on you her. would even yeah? I mean, like a lot of those people that I've looked up on these uh these videos on YouTube, but just read. That's all I'm hearing on time screen, on time screen. Or the Charles guy, Charles Earby. I can't say his last name. A lot of people mess with him too. So I, I'm just between those two. I think they competition. I think they both out of the same city. So. And yeah, so I think it's a lot of competition between them. Charles seems like he more bought a book, and I'm pretty sure Miss Burns she bought a book too, but she more down the lines of like she she ain't gonna sugarcoat it, she ain't gonna you know what I'm saying? She gonna tell you exactly what you gotta do, when you gonna do it, you know? That's what it's looking like. And that's my thing right now because I called her, she sent me to the website, she gave me a login. I haven't paid for it yet because I'm trying to make sure it's legit. So that's all I'm at. But it seems like everybody's vouching for it, so it's like. I'm pretty much sure that's what I'm going to end up having to use because it seems like I know I'm going to have trouble with the return to duty. That's what it seemed like everybody's having trouble with finding a company that's going to let them take a return to duty. And she was like, she'll she'll make sure you get that. All right. All right. Well, bro, I again, I appreciate you reaching out, sharing your story, man. And uh, like I said, let's, uh, let's do a follow up down the line and see where you at uh, in a couple of months. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. All right, man. You take it easy. And I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. You take care. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.